Does alcohol act like a carbohydrate? Well, we had Dr. Keith uh, test his blood sugar after eating carbohydrates and after drinking alcohol, and we're going to share the results with you in this video. Hi, I'm Dr. Becky. I'm a college instructor of the science of nutrition. And I'm Dr. Keith. I'm a chiropractor in private practice for the past 26 years. You're watching Two Fit Docs, where we've turned weight loss resistance into weight loss results. So last week we did uh, an experiment with alcohol and uh, Keith's blood sugar to kind of uh, lay the foundation of, of how alcohol affects the body. The, the results were quite surprising and we will link to that video. Uh, we encourage you to go back and watch it, but it spurred us to do this video. So we thought we're going to expand uh, what we learned from last week and we're going to do an experiment to see exactly how uh, Keith's blood sugar reacts after he has carbohydrates um, and then and then after he has alcohol so we put him on a special 48 hour fat fast so why don't we start by explaining what exactly that meant so for 48 hours all I had was about a thousand calories a day of fat so I had heavy cream in my coffee coffee is the easiest delivery method for me um, and had a, a blended coffee with MCT um, each each day so about a thousand calories but 100% fat mm -hmm. no carbs no protein okay no and, and why did you do that uh, I wanted to do that just to make sure that there was I had nothing else in my body that 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 was being converted to to glucose in my blood mm -hmm. so that I could start with kind of a clean slate good so it gave us kind of a what we were hoping for like a baseline of where you're Right. your blood glucose and therefore your insulin which is your right. fat storing hormone right. would be um, and so uh, after the 48 hours you tested your blood sugar blood right. glucose same thing right it was at 87 all right after after that that was my first test um, and then I had uh, 40 grams of carbohydrates okay which was 160 calories and we use I use that because the pre previous week we had done beer two beers were 190 calories even though they say that they're low, ca low carb mm -hmm. we kind of wanted to just do the caloric match with that okay so All right and then after ingesting that sugar you waited an hour let it get through your, uh, right. your system and then what was your blood sugar at that point? so after an hour my blood sugar was a 164 okay um so definitely i mean that that was pretty much what we expected that's a normal result right Right, we would expect because those cookies are very easily broken down by your system, go right into your blood, and right. then that obviously increases your blood sugar. Right. Okay, and then, um, so then. So then we decided, well, let's, you know, take our results. Let's, let's we, we headed down the street to our local uh, restaurant sports bar just to kind of sit down and like turn over some of our results mm -hmm. and match them with what we did last week, which were very surprising results. Right. Um, and so while we were there, we, you know, I had about three beers, mm -hmm. um, and a few hours later we got, we got back home and just decided to, well, went, you know, no, with nothing to eat mm -hmm. in that time either, just three beers. Right. Um, decided to check my blood glucose again. So, you know, my fingers are starting to get a little right. prickly at this time mm -hmm. because I've been poking them so much. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so we tested it after three hours and three beers and, and it was at 68. 68. Yeah way down hypoglycemic by definition it's under 70 right and matched what your what our surprising result from last week was yeah exactly right so uh let's so uh so let's let's jump right to some of our our discussion on this and our our, our results um so would we say that alcohol acts like a carbohydrate i i think it at least for me and at least for last week i I uh, used Michelob Ultra, which is a low carb beer. When we were at the restaurant, I drank Bud Light, which right. is which is a light beer, but not you know the mm -hmm. low carb beer. Right. It seemed to have the exact same result. So all we can say is that for me, right. and drinking and those beers, mm -hmm. um, my body did not handle beer like a carbohydrate. Right, right. So so the, those are the results. So um, we are certainly not saying that that drinking alcohol is a magical elixir for bringing down your blood glucose far far from it you know this is a one man fun experiment it would though. be fun what well, this is a one man experiment just to really we were going into it completely blind we had no idea what the results would be but it had the opposite alcohol for keith on at least on blood sugar had the opposite effects of what eating cookies eating 
right. basically but we did have that. expectations based on what we've been taught to believe mm -hmm. over you know for years and years and years about alcohol so if the takeaway conclusion I think that's that's what it is that that we need to to not just blindly be following uh, the the uh, the the cultural definitions of of what right. it means to to lose weight or to what to eat and what not things have to be tested um, you know for how many years had we been taught that eating fat makes you fat well right. you know after losing 80 pounds on a ketogenic diet um, and certainly all the the research that's come out right you know in the past few years uh, completely blows that theory out of the water right. so 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 there there you have it. Um, uh, it is just kind of the the collection of of our results, um, right. and and we're we're not telling you to go on a beer diet. Yeah, exactly. Yes, <laughs> it, it is not. It is just present presenting um, some information to you. So uh, there you go. Is there anything we needed to do to wrap that up? Um, well, I should say that I did this yesterday. I did a. Mm. I did. I started the day. I'd had some carbohydrate the night before. I started. I was going to do my blood glucose, do a fat, only fat during that, during the day. Blood, do my blood glucose every three hours. Um, so that was interesting as well. I started at 124. I went down to 96. I went back to 101. I went back down to 99, and then I came home, had a couple beers, and it dropped to 67. Yeah. So it, it's it's like a very consistent result has, for me. It has been consistent, and and I, I'll add too though. Um, you know, we're we're not taking into account any other biochemical well, changes true. in your body that's that true. happen when you drink alcohol. Yeah. So, um, you know, like I said, it's not a magical elixir. Definitely interesting results. Yes, but this is not the Two Fit Docs beer diet. Please it is don't, not. Please don't take that away. It is not. All right. Well, that's what we have for you uh, this week. We hope that it gives you some insights into. Uh, you know this whole craziness of, of blood glucose and losing weight and and uh, thanks for watching uh, we will be back next week with a brand new video for you thanks